What's your real nationality, bro? Say what? You can't be me. You can't be me. That, that concept is something that we learned in slavery. To be an individual. We cannot elevate ourselves above the state of our people. Give me, uh, give me 1 Maccabees chapter 13, verse 5. 1 Maccabees chapter 13, verse 5. Because the Bible tells us that we got to gather ourselves together. But what we've learned here in America is something completely contrary to what God has taught us. Read what you got. 1 Maccabees chapter 13, verse 5. Uh -huh. Now therefore, be it far from me that I should spare mine own life uh -huh. in any time of trouble. So I shouldn't spare my own life in any time of trouble. Meaning what? I need to always be in a position to sacrifice myself for my people. So when things get tough, I can't dip out because it's getting hard. No, I got, to, I got to fight it out. I got to stick it out because everybody is at risk right now. So we come out here, we're like, we're not coming out here now for our own selves. We already understand who we are. I understand I'm an Israelite, but my sister right here, you may not understand who you are. My brother right here with that, you may not understand who you are. Read it again. Now therefore be it far from me uh -huh. that I should spare my own life in any time of trouble. Read. For I am no better than my brethren. You see what he said? One of the greatest leaders of our people said what? Read that last part. For I am no better than my brethren. I am no better than my brethren. So with that thought process, how could I ever say, well, I'm just me. I'm going to just do me. I can never have a thought process like that. I don't come out here because I got a thought process to say, oh, it's just me. I'm going to show you what the scriptures say. Give me Zephaniah 2 and 1. This is what the Bible calls us to do. We must understand, my sister, what we must under, understand, we got to unite ourselves. We got to start to think as a collective. We got to think as a unit. We can't be individuals. I can't do me and you do you and we all do something different. We got to apply what the scriptures say. Read what you got. Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 1. Uh -huh. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together. O nation not desired. What is the Bible telling us to do? My sister right here. What's your name, sis? Yana, read that again for my sister. Gather yourselves together. Yay, gather together. Oh, nation not desired. Sister Yana, what does the Bible want us to do as the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? Come to come together. So if we come together, Sister Yana, can you ever just do you and I do me? No. No, we got to come together and be unified. That's what we got to do, my brother. We got to unify ourselves. So when I say, well, who am I? My answer should be the same as your answer. When, when you say, who am I? And that answer all has to come back to here. I'm one of God's children. I'm one of the Israelites. I descend from the 12 tribes of Israel. Right. Has anybody taught you that you're an Israelite, my sister? No? Has anybody taught you that you're an Israelite, my brother? So you, you've heard that. That's not unfamiliar to you. You know what tribe you come from? You ain't go that deep yet. So, sister, let me catch you up to make sure that you're at least on the same level as my brother right here so that we can unify as a nation of people. Now, I'm going to ask y'all a question. You probably, I know you already know. Sister, how did we get here to America? Huh? No, like what physical means did we get transported to America? In history? Yeah, in history. No, I'm saying like, did we did we walk across the Atlantic Ocean? Did we fly? Oh, no, we, was on the boat. we came over here on slave ships. Am I right, sis? My brother, you agree with that, right? Now, my sister, did you know that that was written in the Bible? You knew that us coming to America on slave ships was written in the Bible. Who taught that to you? Now, what nation of people would, did the Bible say would come to America on slave ships? Okay, okay, I got you. I got you. We're going to give you a refresher. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee. Who was the thee? Sister Yana? The nation of Israel. Read on. And to Egypt again. Now we all familiar with the story of Moses. Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt. What condition were they in when they were in Egypt? Darnell. They were poor, okay. Bad all, Sister Yana. What were they? Were they the rulers or were they the servants? They were the servants and they were also called what? They were slaves. They were slaves. We, our ancestors, were slaves in ancient Egypt. Read it again. 
And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. So Egypt is talking about the condition of what? Slavery. So God says he's going to bring the Israelites into slavery again. Again. With ships. With ships. So what nation of people did God say in the book of Deuteronomy would go into slavery by way of ship? What did God call them in Deuteronomy 1 and 1? The nation of Israel. So Sister Yana, by your own confession, history tells us that we came to America by way of ship and we became slaves. So based on the Bible, that proves that we are what nation of people according to the Bible? We are the Israelites. Right. We are the people that the Bible prophesied that would go into slavery by way of ship. Right. Not only did we go there by way of ship, but what happened once we got there? By the way, where I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. Uh -huh. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemy. Unto who? Your enemy. Darnell, when we got off those ships, what happened to us? We got sold. Sister Yana, what happened to us? They put us on those auction blocks and did what to us? They sold us. The Bible is a true book, my sister. Read on. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. For slave men and slave women, Sister Yana. We were sold as slave men and slave women, Brother Darnell. Read on. And no man shall buy you. And when it says no man shall buy you, it means nobody's going to be able to take you out of that condition. No matter how hard we tried over the last 400 years, we are still the servants here in America. We are still the servants here in America, Sister Yana. Who's, who's working the fast food restaurants? Yana. Who's working the bus driver jobs? Who's working the janitorial positions, Brother Darnell? We are. We are the servants here in this, in this place called the United States of America. So we must understand who we are as a people in order to gather ourselves together as the people of God. Now give me Genesis chapter 49. So Yana, you understand that the people that came here on slave ships are the Israelites according to the Bible. So that would make you what? You descend from them same group of people, so you would be what? You would be an Israelite. You will be an Israelite. Now, Darnell, you said you understood that you were an Israelite. I want to take it a step further for you because I asked you what tribe do you come from? Sister Yana, on the back of that flyer, you see like numbers 1 through 12. You see that? On the back of that flyer, you see it's numbered 1 through 12 for the 12 tribes of Israel. Which tribe do you come from? Number one. Where you come from, Sister Yana? Number one, the tribe of Judah. Now let's read about the mighty tribe of Judah. Read what you got, 49 and 9. Genesis chapter 49 verse 9. Judah is a lion's whelp. Uh -huh. From the prey, my son, thou art gone up. So what we come out here to do is to reinstill that spirit of a lion back in our people. Because we used to be a strong, mighty lion. In Virginia, you had the, the slave revolts of Nat Turner. We don't got that same spirit on us no more. The Bible says we didn't turn into an old lion. Read on. From the prey, my son, uh -huh. thou art gone up. Uh -huh. He stooped down. He couched as a lion. Read. And as an old lion, who shall rouse him up? Who's going to rouse up the so-called black man and return him back to the state of being a mighty man from the tribe of Judah? A mighty Israelite warrior from the tribe of Judah. The only people that can do that is other people that have returned back to their heritage as Israelites. So that's what we come out here to instill into you. We need you to understand who you are. You already understand you're an Israelite, but now you understand that you come from the mighty tribe of Judah. So if I ask you what tribe you come from now, what you say? You come from the tribe of Judah. Give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12. We're going to wrap it up after this. Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 12. Because now you understand that you're an Israelite. You understand that you come from the tribe of Judah. There's a responsibility that comes along with that for you. And this, this is your lady right here. All right, read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 12. Uh -huh. And now Israel. Now we're speaking to you now. Because you know this is speaking about the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. Read on. What does the Lord thy God require of thee? God requires something of you, Brother Darnell, Sister Yana. Read on. But to fear the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to walk in all his ways, uh -huh. and to love him, Read. and to serve the Lord 
thy God Read. with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Now this is how you serve God with all of your heart and with all of your soul. Read. To keep the commandments of the Lord. You see that, my brother? What is our responsibility now that we understand we're the Israelites from the 12 tribes? We got to keep the commandments. Sister Yana, what do we have to do now? We got to keep the commandments. Are y'all married? Not yet. What does God's commandment say about an Israelite from the tribe of Judah and an Israelite sister from the tribe of Judah? What does the Bible say that y'all got to do? Keep the commandment. I'll show you the commandment. Exodus twenty two sixteen. Exodus chapter 22, verse 16. There's something that's very prevalent in our community when it comes to the family dynamic. Is that a husband and a wife? No. Our community is not filled with husbands and wives. It's filled with what? It's filled with family. What does that family structure look like in the black community? Since it's not filled with husbands and wives, it's now filled with what? Because we still got men having sex with women and having children, but they're not husband and wives before they do it. So now we have what in our community? We got baby daddies and baby mamas. But that's destroying our community. A, a, a child should not be with their mama and then visit with their daddy, or with their daddy and then visit with their mama, or daddy stop by the crib every other weekend to take them out to get some ice cream. No, that, that is not parenting. Right. A strong, remember the Bible said, gather yourselves together, O nation, not desire. One of the reasons our nation is not desired is because our family structure is weak. We can never have a strong nation with a nation full of weak families. It doesn't work like that. Every strong nation is established by a nation filled with fathers and mothers, husbands, wives, that are guiding and ruling over those children to raise them up to be better than the previous generation. And it starts here. Read this. Exodus chapter 22, verse 16. Uh -huh. And if a man entice a maid, that is not betrothed. So a man comes spit game to a sister, right? She filling them, read. And lie with her. Now they done had sex together. He shall surely endow her to be his wife. These are the commandments that God gave. To the Israelites, to the Israelite men, to the Israelite women. Y'all laying down together, the Bible says, y'all need to marry each other. Right. Y'all need to be committed to God's laws together. Not only that law, but all the laws. And then together, y'all raise those children in unity by God's laws, statutes, and commandments. That's how we gather ourselves together. Without the Bible, you're going to have your own opinion because you're going to be doing you. I'm going to have my own opinion because I'm going to be doing me. She's going to have her own opinion. She's going to be doing her. But that concept got instilled into us by our slave master. Because they don't think as individuals. The so-called white man does not think as an individual. They think as a collective. They think as a unit. Y'all remember that thing that happened in Alabama a couple weeks ago? Who remembers? The Alabama River bro? It was all over the internet. You heard about that? You, you, know, you know why that gained so much popularity and notoriety, why it went viral? No, not because of the white people. Because they've they been oppressing us. They've been lynching us. They've been ganging up on us. The most profound thing that happened with the Alabama River Brawl was our people came together, not against each other, but against the people that oppress us. Right. That's what was so profound there. So we all had to have the same mind that this brother is not going to become another victim. Because just last year, what happened to the brother down in Mississippi? You remember Rasheem Carter? Sister Yana, you remember Rasheem Carter down in Mississippi? It's like last October. It was a brother. He was a welder. He got into it with his co-workers. They hunted the man down, ran him into the woods cut his head off, removed his spine from out of his back, and cut the top part of his head off and took his brain out of his skull. That's what's happening to our people. And the reason that these people can get away with it is because we have not gathered ourselves together. So we come out here in our communities to teach our people to unite back together as one. 
Not to come together to fight the white man. Nah, he, he way more powerful than us. He got way more bullets. He got way more guns than us. But we want our people to understand that your true heritage, you an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. All right? So I want you to walk away understanding that. You and your lady. All right? And y'all need to apply God's commandments together so we can get out of this condition that's still slavery to this day. All right, my brother? All right. Give me Matthew 26. All right. Yes, sir. Shalom. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. 